like I just walk outside my apartment and I'm like wait it's not a McDonald's I was like f America I'm never coming back in May of 2022 I hopped on a one-way to Tokyo and it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life <laughs> My name is Ryan and I'm 21 years old and I live in Japan. Today I join you from, once again, the temple in my neighborhood. I wanted to make a video today kind of just talking about how I moved to Japan because especially on TikTok, I get so many questions like, do you work in Japan? Do you go to school in Japan? What are you doing in Japan? I'm gonna tell a little bit of like the story of like how I ended up in Japan and then I'm gonna talk about how I moved here because I really think that like anyone can do it pretty much. To start out, I'm also just like a very independent person. When I'm was 17 i moved to new york by myself and i've always just had this like status of independence with myself and like non-dependency on my family i'm very not codependent on other people so you kind of have to be that type of person to be able to just like move to a completely other country it wasn't like i had this in the works for years or anything i didn't know i was going to be moving to japan like a few months before i ended up living here you never know where your life is going to go okay i'm turned the camera because it was the lighting's kind of weird it still kind of is to start out the story i was living in new york going to college in new york at the time new york city and i was three years in and i really started to oh there's someone behind me oh okay I really wanted an international experience and in high school I had a vision board in my bedroom that had a map of Japan on it because I knew I always wanted to live here at some point and I thought I was going to study abroad while I was in college but then everyone knows what happened in 2020. I feel really bad because people are like trying to come up here I think for the new year but I'm filming something maybe this isn't good timing. One day I had a manic episode and I applied to a school to transfer to in Tokyo. Kind of just put it on the back burner and then months later I found that I got accepted and again I put it on the back burner because I was like I'm not moving to Japan that's kind of crazy I don't know what how I would survive, whatever. And then I really started debating it because I was really not enjoying my life in New York and all my classes were online and this was in spring of 2022. So I moved home in January of 2022 for about four months to debate what I was gonna do if I was gonna move back to New York, which I really, really didn't wanna do, or if I was gonna move to Tokyo. After a really long time of debating and figuring out like the whole process of what I had to do to get here, I finally decided that I was gonna bite the bullet and go to school here because it felt like a once in a lifetime opportunity and I felt like I really had to take it. Okay, I changed backgrounds again. I don't know what the best background is. So yeah, I was like, F America, I'm never coming back. And in May of 2022, I hopped on a one-way ticket plane I, I hopped on I hopped on a one way to Tokyo. I've been here for I've lived in Japan for eight months now and it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. Now that you have a little bit of background, we can kind of talk about like how I did it. And I really think that this is the easiest way for Americans to move abroad to Japan specifically, but there's other countries that you can do this. There's a school. My school is a American school located in Tokyo. So American degree, classes are in English, a lot of American professors, some are Japanese though. Most importantly, financial aid is accepted at my school. And the main campus is in America. And the one in Tokyo is just a satellite campus. You can either study abroad there or you can go there full time and they'll sponsor your student visa. It's lit, like it's really nice. Like if I was just gonna, I would not be able to live in Japan if it wasn't for my school and like the financial aid system because it's so expensive. But luckily with financial aid, I was able to move. The whole visa process is like a whole other situation, but basically you just have to get a bunch of documents, go to your local, embassy make sure it's all submitted and then you get your visa back in like i think two weeks and then you go back and pick it up my embassy was three hours away so that was kind of annoying and then also i was coming during covid so that was a whole different process as well really anyone can do this i truly believe that anyone can do this and so i got off the plane and i had a dorm ready for me because at my school you're required to live at 
the dorms for your first semester my first semester was summer semester so i lived there for two months and then i got an apartment after and that was in i got my apartment in july of 2022 and i've been here since and it really has been amazing also when i moved here i knew no japanese i knew like three words maybe 10 probably 10 words now i am not like i'm obviously not fluent i've been here for eight months i've taken japanese classes at my school and also just being immersed here and a lot of my friends are japanese or half japanese it's helped a lot and i've grown my japanese level so much since moving here like i knew no hiragana no katakana when i moved here that's the alphabet in japanese and now i know all of it and i know something around like probably 150 kanji something like that i can definitely get around efficiently perfectly fine it feels great it feels really good where i am in my life and now i just get to come to a temple in my neighborhood and film something like this and it feels so surreal i feel like every day i remember that i live here and i'm just like huh but i also feel really lucky at the same time i really love japan like i always wanted to live here it's so culturally rich there's so much you can do in tokyo and here i am living it and i'm supposed to be here until spring of 2024 that's when my visa expires i don't know if i'm gonna still live here afterwards i could very much still live here after i graduate because i really do like living here and i don't see myself living in america anytime soon <laughs> Um, I have healthcare here. It's really nice. But yeah, I've really, really settled in Japan. I ha literally have a cat here. Like what? If you told me a year ago that this would be my life, where I live, and I would have an apartment in Tokyo, Japan, what? That could very much be you because you just never know what direction your life is going to be in. Life really just took like a 360 for me in the past year. 2022 was really crazy. In terms of money, I did not have that much saved when moving here. But Japan is a very, very affordable country. Like my rent, I have an apartment tour on my channel. My rent is like $485. So many people here work part time as English teachers. It's very easy to get a job as an English teacher. And the pay is pretty good too. Japan is affordable, way more affordable than america you can very easily sustain yourself I, I moved locations again also japan is just like extremely safe like i can leave my wallet my jacket like anything anywhere and it will never get stolen ever and even if you do lose something it always gets back to you because of the efficiency of the work ethic in japan i could just go on and on and on about the benefits of living here but i challenge you to see for yourself because moving here was easily the best decision i've ever made in my life and i've made so many relationships in japan i can afford to live in japan everything is just so visually like beautiful like i just walk outside my apartment and i'm like wait it's not a mcdonald's i feel like in america everything is so ugly like i truly believe that everything is so like capitalist architecture and here it's really not like that it's so nice to it's just it's such a breath of fresh air to be able to walk outside everything is made to be visually pleasing and not just for like money it's great I sim I do not have an answer as to why I was just spinning around in circles at this temple. I think I was waiting for the lighting to get better or something, but I mean, that's not an excuse for what I just... <sighs> There's a cloud covering me. People also ask a lot if I'm working in Japan. I started working a job at this place to teach English pronunciation to Japanese like business workers. I really, really hated it. It was really intimidating. I got like no training. I was kind of just thrown into like a 45 minute lesson. And after that, I said, I am literally never coming back. So I did not go back and I quit. Not saying that's gonna be everyone's experience. I know some people who really like English teaching. So it really just depends on the place. And now I recently got signed to a modeling agency so i'm really excited about that that's one thing i want to do in the new year is start staying booked and busy first of all i need the money and second of all i think that's so fun i want to be in like a japanese magazine so bad the way japan does magazines is just so cool and i really want to be in one anyways if you have any questions please leave them down below i will be happy to answer them i'm really hungry so i'm gonna go eat something subscribe if you want to i don't really care if you don't maybe that's a lie maybe i do want people to subscribe yeah i'll say that Please subscribe for more content of me living my life in Tokyo, Japan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.